John Finolio joining us now in the newsroom. He's got details. John? Well, Corden Rick, as you might imagine, President Trump is not happy about this latest development. A second whistleblower with firsthand knowledge of what the president said to Ukraine's leader could weaken Mr. Trump's assertion that the original complaint was inaccurate. In fact, the first complaint says there are more than half a dozen U.S. officials with information about the president and Ukraine, meaning more whistleblowers could come forward. Tonight, more evidence of concerns within the intelligence community over President Trump's motivations in Ukraine after a second whistleblower comes forward. The individual has been interviewed by the intelligence community's inspector general, but has not yet communicated with congressional committees conducting the investigation, according to the whistleblower's lawyer. That same attorney is also representing the first whistleblower, whose claims kick-started the impeachment inquiry. The president firing off a series of angry tweets Sunday, calling the whistleblower highly partisan and accusing Democratic lawmakers Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff of high crimes, misdemeanors and even treason, calling on both to be impeached. Trump's critics see it differently. This president deserves to be impeached. He stood on the White House lawn this week, Jake, and told two additional foreign governments to interfere in our election. The second whistleblower coming forward after a week in which the president publicly called on Ukraine and China to investigate Joe Biden. And after the original complaint alleged the president withheld foreign aid to Ukraine and pressured that country's leader to investigate Biden and his son Hunter about dealings with a Ukrainian energy company for Mr. Trump's own political gain. The latest whistleblower is said to have firsthand knowledge of President Trump's conversations with Ukraine. This guy, like all bullies, is a coward. He does not want to run against me. Biden firing back in a Washington Post op-ed, writing in part that Trump slanders anyone he sees as a threat. That is why he is frantically pushing flat-out lies, debunked conspiracy theories, and smears against me and my family, no doubt hoping to undermine my candidacy for the presidency. The president and his supporters now insisting Mr. Trump's dealings with Ukraine weren't political. I don't care about politics. I don't care about anything. But I do care about corruption. The White House responding in a statement Sunday, saying it doesn't matter how many people decide to call themselves whistleblowers about the same phone call, a call that the president has already made public. It doesn't change the fact that he has done nothing wrong. There is no evidence of illegal behavior by Joe Biden or his son. Meantime, House Democrats released a trove of text messages Friday provided by the former U.S. Special Envoy to Ukraine. Those messages reveal that Team Trump wanted Ukraine's newly elected president to launch investigations into the Bidens, as well as a debunked theory that it was Ukraine, not Russia, that interfered in the 2016 election. Court Rick, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, John, we thank you for that.